Hey everyone, hello, hello, how are you? How are you? Oh my goodness. Can you believe we're in July? Like, how is it that we are in July? How did this happen? Well, we're in July. For my friends in Canada, happy Canada Day. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. For my friends in the United States, I know that you have Independence Day. Is that what it's called? Sorry, Americans. Fourth of July. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Um, can you tell I'm not American? Um, but it's July. We're literally halfway done through this year. Half of 2020 is over. I was actually thinking about it that we are effectively on the countdown to 2021. That we're five and a bit months now, five months and 20 something days from 2021, which is absolutely mind blowing. Hi Chiedza, how are you? Thank you so much for joining me. Um, so yes, you guys, it's, I can't believe it. We are more than halfway, technically I guess now we're at halfway. We are halfway through 2020. And true confession, I have to be 100% transparent with you guys. 2020 has been, it's been a year <laughs> so far. It has definitely been a year. It's probably been one of the most more challenging years. I'm not sure if this is the most challenging because it's not over yet, but it's definitely been a challenging year. And one of the things that I will confess is that June in particular for me was a really hard month. It was really hard. I found myself just finding it hard to be motivated, finding it hard to get going, finding myself negotiating with myself for the things that up until now were like, just, I did them. They were my habits. I worked out. I ate well. All of those things. I found myself negotiating about with myself about my workout. Do I work out? Do I not work out? I don't feel like working out. You know, I found myself and part of it, I realized, is the fact that there's so much uncertainty like none of us know what's going to happen tomorrow none of us know when you know we're coming out of lockdown none of us know all these things that are unknowns and it's been hard for me to get myself going and with that said i also found myself being very hard on myself kind of like why aren't you getting more done and why aren't you further ahead and what all these things all these things that I'm saying to myself in my mind. And if you remember my last live, I talked about the power of the words we say to ourselves. And so I had to check myself, take a moment and reset. And so I wanted to share with you the three things that I have been reflecting on and that I've decided are the three things that I want to carry with me into the rest of 2020. The first thing, is really based on I went back to one of my all-time favorite books I've talked about this book so much it's this one right here the four agreements I love this book it's a short little read but it's so powerful and one of the agreements in the four agreements is the fourth agreement is always do your best and I actually went back to read this book and I wanted to read you a little bit of what he says in the fourth agreement. He says, under any circumstances, always do your best, no more and no less. But keep in mind that your best is never going to be the same from one moment to the next. Everything's alive and changing all the time. So your best will sometimes be high quality and other times it'll not be as good. And I thought, gosh, I really needed to hear that, that I'm doing my best. I think we're all doing our best, but sometimes circumstances just mean that your best is different today than it was yesterday. And I'll read a little bit more. He says, but if you do less than your best, you subject yourself to frustration, self-judgment, guilt, and regret. Just do your best. In any circumstance in your life, it doesn't matter if you're sick or tired. If you always do your best, there is no way you can judge yourself. And if you don't judge yourself, there is no way you are going to suffer from guilt, blame, and self-punishment. By always doing your best, you will break a spell that you have been under. 
And I thought, wow, that's so profound because it acknowledges the fact that your best will change. Your best in the middle of a pandemic is going to be very different than your best under normal circumstances. And so I wanted to share that with you and to say, as we go into the second half of 2020, that just remember that always do your best. Your best is good enough. But as long as you are satisfied and you know that you are doing your best, then that's all you can do. So for me, the three things that I am doing in recognizing that my best is all I can do is I'm giving myself grace. I'm giving myself the grace to know that my best is going to be different from day to day. My best is sometimes not going to be what I am at my peak and that's okay. I'm giving myself that grace to say, it's okay as long as I can get to the end of every day and know that I did my best. I'm also taking time to appreciate the journey. I think so many of us, myself included, I'm always so focused on the end destination, on the goal. Like I haven't achieved until I've actually achieved the goal that I'm setting out to do. And sometimes it's about the journey. It's about who you become on the journey to that goal. And sometimes that might be the more important thing. I think for many of us, we're being tested in the middle of a pandemic that, yeah, you had a goal, but who are you going to be in getting to that goal? What do you need to change? Who do you need to become to still realize that goal? So for me, the second thing that I'm taking time to do is to appreciate the journey, appreciate that it's not a linear line to get from destination A to my goal, that there'll be peaks and valleys and, and things will happen that don't go according to plan. And that is all a part of the journey. The third thing that I'm doing is I'm taking time every day. Every day I'm making a commitment to myself to be proud of myself, to, to find three things that I did in that day that I can be proud of. Because again, lining up with always doing your best, at the end of every day, there should be at least three things that I did. And they don't need to be monumental things. They can be, I got up and I exercised, or I got up and I went for a walk, or I didn't yell at my husband, or whatever the case may be three things and I'm writing them down. You know that for me, my gratitude practice is something that is so important to me that every day I take time to write down five things that I'm grateful for um, in that day. And so I'm adding to that, at least for the rest of this year, in addition to the five things that I'm writing down that I'm grateful and actually writing them down because I feel like there's such a in writing things down. Write down five things that I'm grateful for and I'm writing down three things that I can truly be proud of that I did. Because as Agreement 4 says, always do your best. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you. I appreciate this community. I appreciate all the love, all the comments, all the feedback that you give me. And I wanna say, if you wanna be notified, because I know I'm kind of, we're trying to figure out what's a great time for everybody to join us live because we have people all over the world. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss my lives, then um, make sure that you've um, signed up for notifications. Same thing on Instagram. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram. We're in Dini Media on Instagram and turn on your notifications so you get notified every time we go live, every time we post new content. We're so inspired actually. Um, my team and, and my niece Kimberly is working with me um, this year which is very fun. She has lots of ideas, and so we're going to be rolling out some new things. She was just messaging me before about some new things that we're going to be rolling out, new things that we're trying out. So you want to make sure that you're following us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter as well, um, and all of our platforms. We are at Ndini Media. And if you want as well to have all of this information, all of my podcasts on the go, don't forget that you can sign up for our podcast. We're available where all podcasts are streamed. So we're on Apple, we're on Spotify, we're on Google, we're on SoundCloud, all of those places and everywhere we are in Dini Media. So have a fantastic rest of this week. And I truly hope that you'll take time this week to reflect on the journey so far in 2020, but also to cast your eyes to where do you wanna be? And more importantly, who do you want to be by the time we get to the end of this year?
Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of the week. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful weekend when we get to it. Mwah. Thank you. Take care, everybody.